Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your ping, latency, packet loss, and input latency in all new Valorant Episode 8 Act 3. This works on all Windows and all desktop and laptops. So make sure to stick around till the end. Do leave your specs down in the comments below. And with all that said, let's get started. Okay, step number one is the firewall settings. And for that, search for firewall settings on your PC and you have to open up settings and then select windows security once you're here go to firewall and network protection and then click on allow an app through firewall once you're here click on change settings and then look up for valorant right over here once you find the application simply click on private and public right in front of it and if you don't find it simply click on allow another app and then go over to the browse section and then find valorant's install location on your local disk c or wherever you have installed it for me it will be right here and you'll find it right away once that is done simply click on ok step number two is the control panel settings and for that open up control panel on your pc and then go over to network and internet and then click on network and sharing center once you're here click your ethernet or your wi-fi card and then go over to properties now simply click on internet protocol version 4 double click on it and then click on a use the following dns server addresses for preferred dns server go for 8.8.8.8 .8 and alternate dns server go for 8.8.4.4 then simply click on ok after that click on ok then go over to properties click on configure and now go over to power management and make sure that the first option is unchecked this will make sure that your pc does not turn off your ethernet connection or limit it in case of extra power consumption well before moving ahead i would like to introduce you all to gvg mall a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors which is legit, reliable and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine windows key since I do not like the activate windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get windows 10 for 53.78 but on this sale you can get it for 21.75 and if you use my code fox25 you can get additional 25% off at just 16.31. And you also have windows 11 update for free and it is perfect time to get rid of that windows activation mark. Mark. There are multi bit payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Next step is device manager, simply open up device manager on your PC. Then over here you'll find network adapters. Simply find your ethernet cable that is right over here for me, double click on it, then go over to advanced and right over here you'll find these settings. Now simply copy the setting, ARP overload enabled, flow control, RX and TX enabled, idle, power down restriction disabled, interrupt moderation enabled, interrupt moderation rate low, IP4 checksum offload disabled, jumbo packet disabled, IPv4 and v6 both of them disabled, then locally administered addresses not present, NS offload enabled, packet priority and VLAN disabled, super duplex auto negotiation and then disabled, disabled, disabled and disabled disabled for the checksum offloads, wake on magic packet enabled, wake on magic packet from S5 enabled and wake on pattern match enabled. Once that is done, click on OK. Then in the system devices, you'll find composite bus enumerator, simply disable it, high precision event timer, simply disable that as well because both of them will help you to reduce your input latency. Next step is MS config and for that simply search for MS config on your system and then open up system configuration. Right over here, go to boot settings, click on advanced option, click on number of processor and choose the maximum number of processor available for your PC. Then click on OK, go over to services, click on hide all Microsoft service and disable all unwanted services such as Adobe update service, armory grade service, fan control and RGB control services, screen sharing service, print service browser update service and much more make sure to know which one you're disabling just in case if it messes up your pc you can always turn them on back again 
Next step is disabling unwanted startup applications and for that press control shift and escape altogether and you'll open task manager. Simply go over to startup applications and then over here disable all unwanted applications that consumes a lot of processing power on your PC since the boot. Reducing the number of startup applications will help you to reduce your BIOS time as well as number of processes constantly running in the background at one moment. It will ensure that you only run those applications when you need them. Until then, all of the services from that application will be turned off. Next step is using no ping. No ping is a pro's choice to fix all of your high ping issues, packet loss, network jitter, lags, stutters and so much more. You can simply download it from the link in the description below. Once you open up the application, it shows you a list of over 1000 games to choose from. You can simply look up for Valorant in this list, then click on select the server. And now you have to choose the nearest server to you. For me, it will be Mumbai 01. And once you click on the optimize this game, it will one click optimize your internet for this game. What this does is it basically tunnels your internet straight from your PC to the game servers without any hindrances and it ultimately helps you to fix all of your high ping, packet loss, latency issues, input lag and so much more. The best part about no ping is the settings gear right over here which offers you turbo games which actually improves your keyboard's response time. Right after that, you have a boost FPS option over here in which if you enable all of these options, it will also help you to gain extra FPS which is a plus point of this application. Once again, no ping is definitely worth to check out and if you guys are suffering from high ping issues, I highly recommend you guys to go check out no ping from the link in the description below. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC. Once you're over here, simply look up your local disk C, click on create and name it Valorant just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step to ensure that your PC does not end up with data loss. Once that is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is the Valorant Episode 8 Act 3 Network Fix Pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. Over here, you'll find in three folders, all of them serve a particular function. First one is the registry optimization in which I have left these optimizations for your PC. I can simply double click to run them and it will disable unnecessary services increase power efficiency then it has some pc optimizations and lastly is the win32 priority separation second folder is a network optimization which helps you to run a list of commands on your pc automatically so you do not have to manually type each one of them it will save your time and it will also apply the best settings possible for your ethernet Last is the input lag folder in which I have left keyboard latency and mouse latency fix. For keyboard latency, I would recommend you guys to leave your keyboard specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which one to choose from. It will help you to fix your input latency. Next is the mouse latency in which I have left disable pointer precision globally. This has to be done only by the people who use mouse. If you have a trackpad, do not do it because it will make it incredibly slow. Pointer precision helps you to accelerate your mouse. It will add a drag effect. Next is the fixed mouse delay and this has to be applied for all of you guys. Simply apply the fixed mouse delay and it will help you to apply the best mouse registries on your PC. Once that is done, simply close the network fix pack. Simply drop into your game to enjoy best ping, latency and fix all of your network issues. I hope this video helps you out. If it does, make sure to leave a like and smash your subscribe button. Also, if you're not part of a channel membership, please do join our channel membership. It really helps me out. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching, Bird Fox, and peace out.